Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's take a look at some general love messages for you, Libra. I'm going to be using this Oracle card deck. Here we go. All right, Spirit, connecting to the energy of Libra. What's going on for Libra in love currently? What are the current energies between Libra and their person? Hmm. All right. Messages for Libra in regards to love. What's currently going on for Libra? in love here we go first card we have for you libra is it says runner when i catch feelings i run or fall what's that say fall back i don't know what to expect i'm working on my issues runner Someone's running away from this relationship or someone's running away from their feelings. Tell me more about Libra and what's going on with them in love currently and with their person. Ooh, new love. Intelligent communicators. Intelligent communicators, smart, creative, generous, sociable thinkers, air sign. New love. Some of you are connecting to someone new or will connect to someone new. Or some of you want someone new. You're desiring a new relationship or a new connection. All right, tell me more about Libra. One more card. And their love life. Recharge, emotionally or physically drained, checked out, exhausted. Okay, so some of you feel emotionally exhausted and burdened. Yeah, I feel like some of you want new love, actually. You're tired of dealing with the same person or the same situations. You want something new. Oh, look, we have an ex-lover here at the bottom of the deck. It says, ex-lover, I want you back. I realize you're the only one for me. I don't want anybody else. Ex-lover. So there's an ex or there's a past relationship here that wants to resurface into your life. This ex might have been a runner, but they want to have a new beginning with you. All right, let's use the tarot cards now. Let's see if we can figure out more information here. All right, Spirit, connect me to the energy of Libra, please. What is Libra's energy in regards to love currently? What is Libra's energy in regards to love and in regards to whoever they're dealing with and connecting to in love? Libra. Okay, Libra, first card we have for you. The Strength card. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Hangman. We do have, oh, look, that new love energy, Ace of Cups. Yeah, I definitely feel like you want new love. Or some of you have someone new entering your life. Either, either they're there now or they're going to enter soon. Some of you are attracting a brand new love to your life. You might not even realize this. 
Knight of Cups and the Empress card. Three of Cups, Hierophant. Yeah, I really feel like some of you are oblivious to the fact that there is someone new making their way into your life. Because you don't seem to be aware of anything here with the Nine of Pentacles. You look like you're um, in, in your bubble, in hermit mode. Yeah, hangman. You're trying to rest. You're trying to recover. You're trying to heal. It looks like you're keeping to yourself with the strength card. You're recovering your strength. You're restoring your sense of confidence, your, your self-worth. You're recharging recharging your batteries, reclaiming your power, regaining control. Hmm. All right, let's just go to your person now. Let's just get to it. What do I want to keep here? I want to keep this Ace of Cups here. All right. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the... An Okay, Five of Pentacles showed up here. I was going to ask about the energy of your person. So your person feels rejected and they, le they feel left out in the cold or they feel abandoned by you. All right, tell me more about Libra's person, please. What is their energy? In regards to Libra and their relationship with Libra currently. How does this person feel? Fool, Empress, and the Emperor, and the Queen of Swords. Oh, they're not telling you. They're not telling you that they feel um, abandoned and lonely and left out in the cold. They're hiding it. They're keeping it a secret. They're acting like nothing's wrong with the full card. They're acting like they're perfectly fine. Look at this pair here, Empress and the Emperor. You two have a very strong connection um, with each other. Empress and the Emperor are divine partners or divine counterparts. So there is a very um, intense connection, attraction between you two. Soulmate bond here. But this person is acting like they're not bothered. They're not bothered by anything. All right, let's clarify. I want to look at you first. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles and Libra's energy spirit. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here in regards to Libra's energy towards this person? Right. I'm not getting your feelings. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Chariot. You're trying to move on with the Chariot card. Yeah, you're trying to move on from this person, from this relationship. Again, I keep feeling like you just want to experience something new with someone new. Tell me about the strength card. Why is the strength card here in Libra's energy towards this person? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're resisting returning back to this person. You know that this person feels um, lonely and sad and abandoned, disappointed, upset. So they're not, they're not a really good actor or actress. You can see right through them. But this is how this person has made you feel as well. 
they've also made you feel um, lonely and abandoned and rejected or left out in the cold. So it's it's coming full circle. This person is getting a taste of how you felt in the past. Right. There's a spiritual lesson in all of this with the hangman. Yeah. But I feel like you're you're resisting, you know. You're resisting feeling bad for this person because the strength card can represent compassion. It it represents the heart and it represents kindness, compassion. So you're resisting feeling bad about be, sorry. You're resisting feeling bad for this person. Because if you let yourself feel bad for this person, you're going to end up returning back to them. So you're trying not to do that. What's the hangman spirit? Yeah, you're seeing this relationship from a different perspective. You've taken off the rose-colored glasses. Tell me about the hangman and Libra's energy. Yeah, two of wands. Again, you want to move towards the new. Come on, card. Come here. Yeah, you want to move towards the new. You want to head in a new direction. You're ready, to, you're ready to leave the past in the past. Some of you might be traveling or relocating, taking a trip, some of you. Or thinking about taking a trip, thinking about relocating. Thinking about moving on in general. All right, let's go to your person. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to switch the deck here. Where's the other deck here? Okay. All right, Spirit, let's clarify this person's energy, please. Why is their energy the fool? Why are they showing up with the fool energy here? These cards are hard to shuffle. Why is this person's energy towards Libra the Fool? Yeah, I think you're showing up. Uh, thank you, Spirit. I think you're showing up as the runner here because you do have the chariot, but it doesn't feel bad. It feels like that's what you should be doing. You know? Feels like that. Why is um this person's energy towards Libra the Fool? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. I knew it. The chariot. I knew this card. Someone. One of these cards was going to repeat itself. The chariot and the Fool. I'm going to clarify that a little bit more. Tell me more about this um, Fool and Chariot energy. Why is this person's energy towards Libra, the Fool and Chariot? Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, that's what I thought, the Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is the chaser. Where, wherever there's a runner, there's a chaser. This person is going to chase you here. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who's been acting like they don't care, but in reality, they do care. And I do feel like this is someone who's planning on, on, coming, toward, on coming towards you. Because they want their empress back. They're showing up as the emperor. The person who's sitting on, um, in the chariot is, on the chariot is the emperor. So this is this person's the emperor and they they want their empress back which is you you're the empress They want their baby back They want their empress back But the empress is leaving the building here so they're going to have to chase fast to to catch up to you cuz you're moving pretty quickly You're moving on pretty quickly. And it looks like you're gaining strength. 
especially with the hangman, like the more time passes by, the more stronger you become. So you're you're slowly but surely gaining strength. And whatever little like emotion you had for this person, it's not going to matter anymore. Your mindset is going to be completely different. Your mindset is already different, but it's going to continue, you know, like becoming more firmer, like more confident, more stronger. More fixed. Hmm. All right, let's see what this person wants with you. What are this person's um, true intentions here with Libra? What are, what are, sorry, what are this person's true intentions? What do they des desire with Libra? Let's see. Sorry, Mercury retrograde has me stuttering a lot. I already stutter naturally, but it just makes it worse. What are this person's true intentions with Libra? What do they want with Libra? King of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Six of Swords, Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. I don't like this energy, Libra, because I feel like this person is looking at you a little bit like, like you belong to me, like you're my property or you're my possession. That's the vibe I'm getting, especially with the fool here and the five of swords. This is someone who plays a lot of games, a lot of head games, mind games. They might be very also emotionally manipulative with the king of cups. They have a lot of pride with the Six of Wands, a lot of ego and a lot of pride, arrogance. Um, this is someone who does stress out about you and about this relationship because they don't want to lose you. But I feel like this person is just very controlling, you know, with the Emperor. They want to get their way all the time and they don't really stop to, to consider how you feel and, and what you need and what you want. But I do see that this person is wishing to have a reconciliation with you with the Six of Cups. They want a second chance, but I feel like nothing is going to change with this person because they're showing up with a lot of controlling energy. This looks like the energy of someone who, who's going to be fair with you at the beginning but then it's going to change. Then they're going to go back to being, you know, their usual my way or the highway self. You know, I feel like this person is very like independent with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, they live, they like living the single life, even when they're connecting to someone, even when they're in a relationship, they still like living the, the single life. Yeah. So it's like this person is going to be fair with you or they're going to be nice and, you know, they're going to act right at the beginning because they want you to, they want to secure you, you know? They want to secure you. They want you to like be stuck on them. But I feel like this is someone who unfortunately plays a lot of head games and mind games. And at the end of the day, it seems to just all be manipulation here. It's all, it's all coming from an energy of manipulation here. Everything they do is coming from that energy. 
I want to look more into this King of Pentacles. Tell me about this King of Pentacles spirit and this person's energy, please. So you're perceiving them. Ooh, there it is, the devil. Yeah, like I said, very controlling. This person is looking at you like they own you, like they, like you're their property, you're their, their possession, like you can't, you can't um, leave them. You can't walk away from them. That's, that's how they're looking at you. They're looking at you as someone who's walking away. And they're going to put up a fight here. Let me look at you real quick again. I'm going to look at your feelings. Yeah, spirit angels and guys, please show me what are Libra's feelings for this person currently. How does Libra currently feel about this person? How does Libra currently feel about this person? What are Libra's feelings? The Nine of Swords. You're stressed out. This person stresses you out. Why is that? Tell me about, clarify the Nine of Swords spirit. Why does Libra feel the Nine of Swords? Why does Libra feel the Nine of Swords in regards to this person? Ooh, the Two of Cups, okay. Well, there's mutual love between you and this person. They have the Two of Cups and you have the Two of Cups. So both of you feel very strongly for each other. That's what stresses you out because it's not like you don't care. But you feel like you need to stand up for yourself. You feel like you need to defend yourself with the strength card. And even even though you have feelings for this person, I feel like you're you're realizing that this person is toxic or that this relationship is toxic. You know, you're you're starting to see things from a different perspective now with the hangman. And I feel like you're starting to like wake up to the reality of who this person is and the type of relationship that you have with them. You know, it, it gives you more grief than anything else. It gives, it gives you more grief than happiness at this point, you know? Hmm. Let me see how you view them. How does Libra view this person? What is Libra's perception of this person? What is Libra's perception of this person? The Queen of Wands. This is kind of like my way or the highway energy. You feel like this person is all about themselves and everything has to be done their way. And you feel like, you know, they're, they're very much in their ego. They don't really take you into consideration. Um, how else does Libra perceive this person? What is Libra's perception of this person? Tell me more. The Page of Cups. You might feel like this person love bombs you. And that's how they get their way with you because... They have their moments where where they become very like caring or loving or sweet or like they give you attention to like make you feel good, but then they switch. Then they switch over to the dark side here. And it looks like you just feel drained here, emotionally and mentally drained. So I do feel like you're in this energy of I need to I need to put myself first and I need to um, become independent from this relationship. Disconnect from this relationship and move on. And not let this person um, affect me anymore or have influence over me anymore. You're tapping into your spirituality, I feel, with the hangman. 
Yeah, you're, you're tapping into your intuition and your spirituality and your inner wisdom. And you're letting the you're 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 letting it guide you. And you're letting it strengthen you. Especially if you have some sort of faith, like um like religious faith with the hangman and um the strength card. If you have some sort of religious faith or practice, I feel like you're leaning on that more now more than ever to help you get through to help you get through with the cherry card okay so let's see what's going to be happening um, moving forward into the future oh boy heavy energy okay let's put this away just gonna put this away do i want to keep something here i'll keep that no, I'll put this away. Okay. All right, let's see what's going to be happening moving forward. Oh, look, the emperor here. I'm going to take a look at their actions and your actions. Is there something mixed up here? No. Let's start with uh, your person. Yeah. Let's see what actions they'll be taking towards you moving forward. Spirit angels and guys, what actions will this person be taking towards Libra moving forward? What actions will this person be taking towards Libra moving forward? Okay, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Wow, page of wands, lots of communication, strength, that's you, resisting. Mm. Seven of swords, yeah, this person's coming towards you with a lot of deceptive energy, Libra. Look, the hangman, you already know. That's your energy with the hangman. You already know what to expect from this person. Yeah. It's sad because it, it feels like the worst that you imagine from this person is exactly the reality. Is exactly what the truth is. That's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. The worst you can imagine from this person is exactly what it is. It's like your nightmare turned real. Your nightmare manifesting into reality. Hmm. Yeah, so you already know with the hangman that this person is coming towards you with deception and lies, manipulation, and they're definitely going to come towards you here. Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. This is very um, bold action. You know, direct communication. This looks like someone who is, per they're going to be very persistent in, in their communication with the Four of Pentacles. This is someone who's very stubborn. You know, they're, they're stubborn about getting their way, about winning at all costs. It's like this person has a mission and they're not going to stop until... Their mission is complete. And I feel like their mission is to get you stuck on them again. But yeah, just keep that in mind, Libra. There's no truth here connected to this person. It's all deception. 
but I, you're gonna be okay, but because with the hangman, like, you can't be fooled anymore. With the hangman, it means like you, you see the truth already, you're illuminated, you see your, look at the head, it's glowing because it's illuminated. You're seeing clearly. You're seeing the deception clearly, like you've learned, you've learned this person's way of being. Okay. Why are they communicating with you is what I want to know. Let's clarify that. Tell me what this communication is about, Spirit. Tell me about this Eight of Wands, Page of Wands. What is the purpose of this communication? Or what's the intention of this communication coming from this person? Let's get one shuffle. Yeah, they like you more because you're running from them. You're being the runner and that's making them like you even more and like want, want you even more. They like the they like the adrenaline, you know? The Eight of Wands is kind of like an, adre uh, an adrenaline junkie energy. Eight of Wands. They like the adrenaline. They like the chase. They want to prove prove to themselves that they can win. All right. That they can get the outcome that they want. What's the purpose of this communication? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. They're definitely going to try to like, you know, seem apologetic and make things right with you. Hmm. I just don't, you, it's not something you can trust because of this Four of Pentacles that is right behind it. Like the Four of Pentacles is someone who's not open. You see their heart chakra is closed. They're not open. They have a very um, fixed agenda here, a hidden agenda that is self-serving. Anything else in regards to the purpose behind this Eight of Wands, Page of Wands communication energy coming from this person? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Deep down inside, this person acts like they don't care, but deep down inside, this is, this is someone who's stressed out. They're trying to play it cool, though. Like, they're trying, to, they're trying to play it off like they're calm, cool, and collected. But this person is freaking out because they've never seen you this way. They've never seen you in this energy of strength. So they're, they're getting worried, you know, but they're acting like they're not worried, but they are getting worried. So I do see them coming towards you, try to, trying to apologize and make things right and, you know, all that stuff. Let's see how you're going to react. Do I want to use a different deck, Spirit? Which one? This one. Okay. Here we go. All right, Spirit Angels and guys, how is um, Libra going to respond to this person? And what actions will Libra be taking moving forward in regards to this person? Let's see, Libra, how are you going to respond to their actions moving forward? Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, yeah. You're saying no, Libra. Look at them, Ju judgment, look at that. Look at that. Look at their energy here. Judgment, Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords. This is them looking for a second chance with you. Going after what they want with the Nine of Cups. They do look at you like you're their, you, you are their desire. You are their happiness right now. You are their wish right now. I say right now because I feel like this is someone who, you know, once they get what they want, they switch. You know, they, they have a new goal, a new mission. It's like they... They don't want it anymore. Once they get what they want, they don't want it anymore. 
So it's like right now with the Nine of Cups, you are what they want. They want a second chance with you. Seven of Swords. Deception again. Secrecy. But in regards to your response, you're showing up with the Seven of Wands energy, Libra. So I see you turning this person down. Here they are coming towards you, Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Trying to um, win, win you at all costs for self-serving reasons with the Four of Pentacles. And this is you blocking them and rejecting them. Because you're not the same anymore. You've, you've become a lot stronger. And that's what they didn't expect. That's going to be a surprise for this person. They didn't expect it. It's going to be surprising. All right, let's see. Any advice? All right, Spirit, any advice for Libra in regards to this situation, this person, this relationship? Oh, did I mix my cards? Oh, no, they're okay. thought I mixed them. Are we in time? 36 minutes. I hope you like long readings. This reading is going to be long. Give me a thumbs up if you do like the long readings. All right, any advice and guidance for Libra spirit? Any advice and guidance for Libra? All right, Libra, first card here we have for you is you can't be replaced because there is no one else like you. Know that you are unique and special, only one. You can't be replaced. That's true, Libra. You cannot be replaced. I feel like that's, that's what this person is going to learn. That's the lesson that they're learning. You're not someone who can be replaced. I definitely feel like this is someone who's going to experience a lot of regret, you know, in their future when it comes to this relationship with you. I don't feel like they feel regret now, though, you know, I feel like regret is going to come a little bit later for them. Anything else for Libra? Let's get one more message here for Libra. Advice, guidance. It says, don't rush what you want. Don't rush. What you want exists. Sometimes you just have to wait. Be patient. All right, Libra. So Spirit is telling you, be patient. You are going to find what you want. You are going to get your, um, your divine counterpart, your divine match, everything in divine timing. So be patient and just wait, okay? All right, Libra, so I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.